Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer Britton and thank you for taking a few minutes to join us today for this Gearing Up for Back to Remote Work Fall 2020. As the author of several books, including Plan to Track and Coaching Business Builder, I know how important it is to create regular moments of reflective pause to do some stock taking and planning for the time ahead. Fall 2020 is no different. And in fact, this is probably the year that we do want to grab a bit of time to spend focusing on what's important. So today is Labor Day 2020, often a day that we liken to the second start of the year. So regardless of where you are in the world, what, regardless of what you're stepping into, I hope that you'll join me for this quick 15 minute reflective pause. As an author, I really have enjoyed hearing how my work has rippled around the world through text and also through videos like these. You can find more of them over at my YouTube channel. Just look for my name, Jennifer J. Britton. Well, let's get going. So a little bit about uh, what we're gonna be doing today. You can first of all, download a worksheet for today over at plandutrack.com forward slash back hyphen to work dot HTML. And really the intent of this next 15 minutes is to take you through this series of reflective prompts. So you don't need anything else. I've just downloaded a copy. You'll find it over at plandutrack.com. And again, that page is back to work HTML. And this is a supplementary resource to the Plan to Track and Coaching Business Builder workbook and planner. So you can always pick up a copy of these. They are now available digitally at our websites at potentialsrealized.com, or you can pick up a copy over at Amazon. So just look up Jennifer J. Britton and Plan Do Track. You'll find that as one word. You need to spell it all together. Plan, do, and track. And really, this work is grounded in the notion that we need to do both. We need to stop, take a pause, reflect on what's working, and then get into action. And it's through the action that we learn and our data, our metrics are the things that are gonna help us move. So as I said, this is a going to be a reflective pause session, back to work 2020 or maybe a year from now. Regardless of where you are, I hope you'll grab the worksheet and or the planner. Again, the worksheet you can find over at plandutrack.com. Maybe you're just working with a journal, so that's fine to have as well. I'm gonna be working alongside in addition so I hope that you won't mind that I move my head down. I'm gonna be enjoying this brief pause as well. I'll talk a little bit more about my work at the end, but rest assured you can find a lot of great resources to support you in planning, doing and tracking over at plandutrack.com. So hope you're ready, grab a pen, and we're gonna get started in just a minute. One thing to note, as I enjoy doing these on a regular basis at month end and also at quarterly changes, there is no right answer here. I hope that you'll write things down, whatever comes to mind. There's gonna be about 70 seconds. So here's our first one. What have been some of your major achievements this year or recently? Take the next minute to write those down. What rhythms have you developed in your work?
Now in Plan Do Track, I have this wheel of remote work. Take a look and consider the goals that you made at the start of the year, or even the last quarter. How are you doing on some of these on a scale of one to 10? Which goals need to be adjusted or even let go of? What do you notice about your metrics? Maybe you're using the monthly daily tracker as you see here from Plan Do Track. If you have that, what do you notice about your metrics? Are they on target, off target? What patterns are there? All right, what's going to help you stand out?
right? Where do you want to put your focus until the end of the year? What are those items or your big rocks, as Stephen Covey would say? All right, next questions. Success stories you want to communicate or share. Think about the people you've been working with. How can you use some of their case studies or stories, testimonials, to help people understand the work that you're doing? What mindset do you want to adopt? Mindset is everything. It's our beliefs, our values, our outlook, our perspectives. What is the, what is the mindset you want to adopt? Strengths you want to leverage. Think about the strengths that you bring to the table. What are the ones that you want to leverage? Maybe also even dial back. What do you notice about your productivity and flow? Might need to jump down on your worksheet on this one. What do you notice about your remote productivity and flow?
All right, key relationships you want to foster. Who is it with? All right, as I go back to work, my theme is take a look at everything here, pick one and zoom in. Maybe even pick a couple. And at the end of this year, what will success look like? Be specific, be bold. There's magic in this. Key goals, make a list of all your major goals. Don't self-censor here. And what are your top priorities as you look to this next phase? What are your top priorities?
What else do you need to think about? All right, and that's gonna be it. I have one more thing that I wanna take you to, but please reach out if you want some planning support or coaching support in growing your business or your team. A Couple of things that I'm continuing to offer, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. A Lot of people are opting for VIP days or strategy work where we meet for half a day, full day, or even two days for virtual working and planning sessions one-on-one -on -one with you. It's like that blueprint, we build out your house, whether it's around virtual programming, your business, or your team. That is continuing alongside annual programs that I run, the Coaching Biz Growth Lab, Learning Lab, and Design Studio, as well as my shorter ICF, Continuing Coach Education Programming, Group and Team Coaching Essentials, the Advanced Practicum, and also Virtual Facilitation Essentials. Some of you know that on September 17th, I'm going to be hosting the Stand Out Virtually one day studio day masterclass. I hope that you'll check that out at standoutvirtually.com. And towards the end of the year, we'll get back into the plan to track virtual retreats. I will continue to host some of these calls next week, Monday the 14th, the 2020 at 1030 AM. I'll be doing a back to work routines, habits and practices, followed by remote team boosters, which is related to an on demand course that I launched a few months ago called Remote Team Builders. So if these are areas of interest, please join me in my Zoom room at 10.30 to 11 a.m. on the September 14th or September 21st. I hope that this is, a, this is your part of the year to do something great or do many things great. The world needs it right now. We are being called on, whether we're remote leaders, whether we're professionals, business owners, or coaches. And I hope that today's reflective pause has given you some clarity as well as insights as to what's important for you in your work right now. Let's stay connected. And some of you know that I've started recently the new Virtual and Remote Visionaries Hub over on Facebook. You can Google that and find us on Facebook. Also, there's a Plan Do Pat Track page on Facebook, or if you're a coach, join me at Effective Group Coaching. Instagram, I've become a bit more active again over at Coaching Biz Builder and our Remote Pathways. And of course, you can listen to me and my co-host, Michelle Mullins, at the Remote Pathways podcast on a regular basis. I've had a lot of fun, and in the last 20, 25 minutes, got a lot of clarity. I hope you did too. I'm Jennifer Britton, and please, let's connect. I hope that this has maybe inspired you to build in more planning time. Join me in the future, either with Plan Do Track or Coaching Business Builder, and hope to see you on a Monday. Thanks everyone for joining us. Have a great fall. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.